Good morning, everyone. Today is January 28th, and this is my podcast for the art and the industry assignment. My name is Hector Negron. I'm a sport marketing and social media degree student from Full Sail. And the person that we're going to interview today is my dear friend, my childhood friend, Mr. Daniel Rivera. I'm sorry if I call him Danny through the interview, but we are such a good friends since we were kids that it's hard for me to call him Daniel. Um, he's an artist and designer from Bayamon, Puerto Rico that lives and works in, the, in Brooklyn, New York now. Here are some of Danny's uh, awards during his career. And here are some of his exhibitions. Here are here is my first question. Danny believe visual art should confront and convince. It should seduce and revolt the mind and the spirit. As a painter, I have encountered work with multiple and diverse objectives, styles, and process. Yet the work role is to communicate and explore these semantic relationships that drive this process and aesthetic inclination. Then the second question was, in which he replied, in the field of contemporary art, digital media and new technology, open venues to new practices and explorations that transcends the gallery space and the conventional notion of what can comfort the work of art. Rather than an influence, I see the digital prolification of static as a practice that corresponds to the age of telecommunications, instant graphic, graphic, graphic gratification, access, align, individualism, and rampant materialism. In a way, this develops in form our own ambivalent regard of the mass subject. The third question for Danny was, see, this can be a tricky one to answer. The answer can be as simple as whatever is trending, a color, a font, a treatment. There are many recurring images in art from scenes with figures to landscapes, geometrics, abstractions, and my personal favorite, the portrait. The, this technique has been perpetuated in time since medieval times, into the present in numerous and diverse ways. A great accomplishment, one never fails to capture my attention. And here is an example of Francisco Oyer's painting from Eugenio Maria de Hostos, He was a very important man in Puerto Rico, and this was this is Danny's favorite painting, an illustration of the portrait. And this question, Danny answers. To me, this is a difficult question. It is a numerous list, and it changes in times depending on current interest. It can range from a willing the cooning expressionist woman to a digital video installation piece from Candace Springs. It can be hard to, point, to pinpoint an artist or particular style. I'd rather rest my decision on a craft-like design, particularly typographic and publication design, both straightforward, attentive to detail, charming and practical. And this is an example of William the Cooling Expression Woman. The next question was, and Danny's answer is, yes, my process has been influenced by famous and not famous work. I like to believe that that inspires us to have this process. It's not just the image we encounter, but our circumstances at the moment of encounter. I take an image in, your, in my mind the same way I take my wallet when I leave the house, out, automatically. This is the role playing ground for an advertisement, but to influence the creative process, it must be tossed around and confronted, integrated into a concept and an idea that demands a relationship. 
this relationship of recurrent analysis and exchange becomes an integral part of the creative process and it relates on more than just the visual analysis. Next question. Which Danny replies. My dream job. Well, my dream job is to have my own gallery where I could collaborate and work with new talent. I started working out in something like this in Puerto Rico before leaving to the Bronx. It was called Espacio 2020, Space 2020. It was a small gallery and I am happy to be a part of the foundation of the gallery. Sadly, I have to move on, but that experience made dream about, about it every day of having my own gallery. Danny's last question was, my dream job is not art with apostrophe. It's a place where young talent like me will find a place to expose their work. It's been hard for me to expose my work, but thank God and great people that have believed in me through the years, I've been able to put my name on the map. Maybe it's a small island like Puerto Rico, but now I want to sound here in New York. This has been my toughest challenge so far. And here are my references. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy it.